Hey girlfriends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something very special prepared. I am building my new home on the internet, engineergirlfriend.com, and I will be sharing with you every step of the way. For anyone who's new here, hi, I'm Liz. I'm a software engineer and product designer, and I build apps for my online community. I build in public and share my progress on social media, so obviously my website to showcase all my apps is very important. Honestly, I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but for the last six months, I've been using a really ugly link in bio tool for engineergirlfriend.com, and as a designer, it always gave me the biggest ick, but no longer. Today, we are fixing that. I'm really excited to build this new website, so let's get into it. Starting with opening Figma, open up a clean file. The idea I have for my new website, as someone who makes a lot of apps, I want it to look like the iPhone home screen because I want to showcase multiple apps. There's a beauty in using a design that everyone's familiar with for a different use case. Most people are familiar with how home screens work. Whether you use an iPhone or Android, the layout is kind of the same with all the little app icons. I'm gonna start with designing out how it looks on mobile because I believe most of the traffic coming to engineergirlfriend.com is through mobile since the primary places I link this website are on social media such as TikTok, Twitter. This is obviously kind of the basic layout of a iPhone home screen. I also love the design of widgets so I want to use the widget design to add a bit more information about myself, the engineer girlfriend brand, and my projects. I want to now take this inspiration, turn it into what feels like a personal brand website. I need to figure out what exact layout I want for this grid of widgets and icons. I have some information that I know I want to include in about me, socials, my apps, random facts. What's the majority of it? Okay, there's something satisfying about the fact that I have four apps and I have four social media platforms I post on. Like the OCD in me is very happy about this because the grid likes things that come in fours. I have an obsession with fonts. I spend way too much time on Google fonts because that's where all the free fonts are. And every time I find a font that I really like, I add it to my collection. I create a Figma library that for personal use out of it. And I create these font constants. I picked in Consolata because it's a monospace font and it adds that like techie aesthetic vibe which since my branding is engineer girlfriend i feel like it fits it fits in oh shit this is the wrong one mabi it's not in consolata i picked <laughs> god i'm so scatterbrained today this is the font I picked. And the reason I noticed right away is because this is such a minor detail, but I loved this slanted D corner. I feel like there's just something so mm, oh, about it. I just like liked all these little details. Like This is what I mean by I really nerd out over fonts, but I really feel like picking the right font is such a critical piece to tying together a brand story and really communicating a style and aesthetic. Anyways, I'm really into this font. Now I finished making my font constants. I will name this name of the font. And now these font constants I can use in any of my other Figma files, which is super convenient for me. But I'm deciding whether I want subtitles on these app icons, which is what the um, the like iPhone design and like on your phone it has it has all the little labels of each one. I'm pretty sure I want this because. Yeah, how else would you know what the title is about, right? Yeah, that makes sense.
What I'm trying to do is I want the wallpaper to rotate on the website and I think it'll just be like a fun dynamic thing. So what I'm trying to do here is make it so that the labels are more readable on the variety of backgrounds. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. So man, I designed this pretty damn fast, but that's what happens when you are on a time crunch. All right, so here's the final look of a general sketch of the vibe I'm going for in terms of my new website, engineergirlfriend.com. I'm sure I'm gonna make some changes on the fly as I'm coding this, but it gives me a good sense for like dimensions and proportions for each of the widgets and app icon sizes as well as a layout where I look at it and I like it. I feel pretty good about this. I'm gonna use this as a starting point and now I'm gonna hop into coding the website. Okay, so time to code up this bad boy. Um, it's kind of weird to call engineergirlfriend.com a bad boy, but Anyways, I have a Next.js project, a brand new one, up and running. Uh, Next.js is my favorite framework to build websites with. And I have a couple things that I bring into every project that I work on. So I've built up, it's kind of like a mini design system. I personally don't like using Tailwind because I feel like as a designer, I'm just kind of manic and I want full control. Okay, by the way, I just wanna say, I haven't written any React TypeScript code in a while because I build my apps in Flutter. Uh, so just know that I'm gonna be a little bit rusty, but I'm gonna get back into the swing of things pretty fast. Trust. Okay, so let's start building the components. So this is kind of going to be a pain in the ass because I need it to be responsive. But you know what? I am going to cheat because I want to do this fast. pretty happy with the progress so far. Um, I've laid out the general grid of the important content. Right now, the website is basically as responsive as I want it to be. My next step now is when you click on uh, one of these apps, I want you to be able to see some details about the app itself. I'm gonna be adding in some info here and then I also wanna build out the about page. Let's, let's do that part. Here's where I am at the latest. Uh, I finished building out the app pages. I feel like it's looking super clean. I'm really happy with it. Okay, it's 4.46, I'm running out of time because I have to go to dinner at 6.30, so I'm trying to get to the point where I deploy this by then. Um, all right, so next up, I need to build the banner widget. I decided what my fun fact is gonna be, which is that I really like killer whales. I will be building that now. Okay, so that was pretty fast because I'm using 
similar templates as all the detail pages which I think really ties in the design together as well as makes it faster for me to make the website. I actually want to focus on cleaning up the page a bit more, adding in some polish. I want to add in the rotating backgrounds. It is now 5.30 and I'm running out of time, but I think I'm done. Okay, so now I am going to, in the next 10 minutes, deploy this, which is totally possible because the first sell is so bomb. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get this website live on an actual URL. So let me create a new repository for this really quick. Engineer girlfriend, gonna make it private we have all the code pushed remotely. This is actually a great test to see how easy the UX for Vercel is because I haven't done this in, I don't know, like six months. So I have no memory of how to upload a new website because I just created the repository. It's already popped up. I just need to hit import. It knows that I made the website with Next.js and I think I just hit deploy. Oh shit, bam, so yeah my deployment work. All right, so this is a real link now that I can share to anyone and they will be able to see my website, which means that it is live and hosted by Vercel. That was literally insane. I think it's only been four or five hours since I started on this project. I have never worked so chaotically before. I'm really happy I time boxed because I've been procrastinating this thing for so long and now the website is finally done and I'm really happy with it as a starting point. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed too. Just wanna say, if you liked this project and like this video, please like and subscribe. Also comment what you wanna see more of. Now I have to go change and go to dinner. Bye. Thank you.